Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Friday, the 18th day of October, 2024. Our topic today on the seeds of destiny is instructions from situations. The Bible says, I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns and thistles and nestles and had covered the face thereof and the stone wall was broken down then i saw and i considered it well i looked upon it and i received instructions that's proverbs 24 30 to 32. thought for the day every situation carries an instruction one of the ways that god speaks to his people is by giving them instructions from the situations of life there are times when God would plant a vision in your heart and gives you instructions from what he causes you to see and observe and experience. In Proverbs 24, 30 to 34, we see a prophetic parable that Solomon gave. He said he went to the field of the slothful and the vineyard of a man void of understanding. And in verse 31, he says, Lo, it was all grown over with thorns and nestles and covered, had covered the face thereof and the stone wall thereof had broken down. There he saw and considered it well. He looked upon it and he received instruction. What was the instruction? It now says, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. In the scripture above, in all probability, other people who looked at this slothful man's field might not have seen anything, but Solomon received instruction from the field and the life of the slothful man. In Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 1, God specifically led Jeremiah into the house of the potter so he could observe something and hear the word of the Lord. Jeremiah 18, 1 to 6 says, The word came again to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then he went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to, him, to, to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, said the Lord? Behold, as a clay in the hands of the potter, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Please understand that every situation carries an instruction. Whatever situation you find yourself, it carries an instruction. There are revelations from situations. There are strategic revelations from most of life's conditions. What I counsel to you today is be sensitive and discern to know the instructions that God is passing across to you in any situation. And remember this, that every situation carries an instruction. Be sensitive to give instructions or get instructions instructions from every station of life. And number two, take note of the instructions that God is passing to you through any situation and apply them. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I ask that you cause me to be sensitive, to know and receive strategic instructions through any situation of life. Help me to obey the instructions, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today and I ask for the blessing of God upon you and help from above in Jesus' name. I'd like to pray for you. It's your birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And before I close, I need to pray with you. You need to make your ways right with God. You want to come to God today as that clay in the hands of God, the potter, so that he can remold you and remake you into who he wants you to be. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person in Jesus' name. And today I ask that you remold me and make me 
the best me that I can be in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. You are becoming the best you that you are meant to be in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day.